Foundation coming at you with a uh, after day one reaction, I guess, of the free agency frenzy. Um, again, <laughs> I'm more focused on the draft. You know, I, I I pay attention to this because because of what what we could do with our own players and all that. Other than that, I'm not really. You know, I'm focused on the draft. You know, so that it is what it is. Um, the probably the biggest news was probably the Romo thing. You know, like uh, from the outright release to now the Cowboys wanting to trade and want to see if they get something in a trade, um, which I like better. I you know I. I get it. The do right to do right by Romo, and all that. I, you know, I do. You know, I want to see Romo get success, success in the, you know, with his with his uh, with his future. But at the same time, too, it's like you know, I'm selfish and you know, I'm selfish as a cowboy fan. But at the same time, too, that's how much I value Romo. You know, I do value Romo in the sense that uh, we can get we can get something. You know, we can get you know something out out of it. You know. That we gotta get something out of it. I mean, that's how much I value it. You know, like, like okay, you want us to take on more of the contract? Then give us a third. If you want, if you wanna, if you wanna take some of the contract, so there's no negotiate renegotiations and all that kind of stuff. Then give us a fourth or a fifth. Give us something, you know, kind of thing. And you know, and that's that's the value that shows the value of Romo right there. Um. Before anybody say about the about the, the Sam Bradford thing, that was on a desperate, <laughs> you know, that was on a very desperate time. So, you know, I ain't gonna, I you know, I ain't gonna think about that one too much. You know, that was that was to me was something else with the with the Vikings. You know, that that was their thing. Whatever. <laughs> um, now for the players that we lost, you know, again these guys. You know, they, you know, majority, you know, all three players probably it's going to be their final contract. So, you know, I ain't mad at none of them to going after and getting the money. You know, what, what hurts, what, what the reason why I like to resign my own, you know, our own is this chemistry, chemistry wise and enhancing the players that could be stars, you know, like, like what, what we, we have our three all pro players, but what enhanced them in, as well too is someone like a Ron Leary. You know when Malik Collins go down, there is no was no drop off. Was our depth that kept kept that kept our thing going and all that. So you know having someone like Ron Leary there, you know that was the thing that that was the thing that enhanced. You know and and with uh, with Tyron Smith being being um being nicked up, you know for a lot of the year, you know it helped him that you know, it was like hey. Just take that guy on, and I'll, you know, don't worry about don't worry about the guy, don't worry about the inside. I got it, you know. You know, the same thing with Travis Frederick. Hey, don't worry, I got you know, I got you, and all that. So, so that's the thing. That's the that's the thing that I that's the thing that I miss most. You know, I'm gonna miss most about Ron Larry. You know, keeping our depth. You know, Collins. You know, he can still develop, create enough player and all that. But now you know having the depth there that either either or could either or would be this just as devast you know just as uh, just much of makes our team you know makes our offensive line look that much great you know but the depth there is like there is no loss of production you know and then it uh, it also kind of limits you now on experimenting with I you know I know the Cowboys said they won't move Lyle Collins to right tackle. But at least experiment now. You know now you could at least experiment like hey, let's let's just see <laughs> let's just see what he got. You know, you know with Chaz Green he flashed a little bit, but he got injured again. So you know that that question mark is still there. So for as great as our offensive line was, you know it it took a it 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 didn't make it as the best. You know you know as the the top notch. It kind of it, it kind of weakened it just a little bit. You know, just for the depth standpoint and all that. Um, you know, again, with Terrell McLean, you know, he's been, he missed, uh, you know, a lot of our seasons, but at the same time, too, what he did this year, he was very productive and all that. You know, it would have been great to have him, you know, he, again, if he wants to go out and make his money, great. 
Um, the thing that I, you know, I'm gonna miss is that what he did for Malik Collins. You know, Malik Collins is a good player in his own way, but someone like uh, Terrell McLean, and it, it enhances him. It enhanced what Malik Collins' production was to to like let him let him learn to play while at the same time not having to pressure to do all that. You know, same thing with David Irving, you know, creating the right matchups to keep, you know, having someone productive like a Terrell McLean to, to give the right matchups to David Irving and all that. This another year and, you know, what makes, what makes um, Irving and what they could be like, you know, the next year, the, this, you know, be this being um, his second full season with us. You know, third third season, but second full season with us. How much more of a jump that he could have been, David Irving, and how much more of a rookie. You know, from a rookie to a second year, Malik Collins would have been if we would have kept Terrell McLean. Um, you know, Barry Church, same thing. Uh, Byron Jones' first full season as a free safety. His first year, he was all over the place. So, you know, but for him to you know to see the production that Byron Jones had in his first season. You know, he wasn't perfect, but he was very, you know, he was productive. Um, you know, having the trust and the chemistry with, with Barry Church, being the second tackler tackler um, on our team and leading the team in, intercept, in interceptions, you know, that trust factor, that chemistry, how, you know, how much more they would enhance from year, year two to year three for Byron Jones if Barry Church was here. You know, so that's 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 why you know, like, I like to sign my own players because like someone like a Byron Jones, someone like a Malik Collins, David Irving, Tyron Smith, Travis Frederick, Zach Martin, it enhances what they do and they even better. You know, but again, I'm again I'm just focused on the draft. Uh, oh yeah, forgot. You know, like Bryce Butler. You know, Dak and you know I personally I like T. Will better. And all that, but we did get him on a you know Bryce Butler on a good deal, hey. But whatever makes Dak comfortable, again, that's the thing, the comfort, the chemistry, and all that. That's what that's what Dak needs. <laughs> it doesn't matter what I need; <laughs> it matters what Dak needs. You know, if Dak feels that you know Bryce is be better and all that, go for it and all that. You know, because because that's what's gonna matter. Whatever, whatever less pressure to put on, um, to, to having a relationship with, a, you know, even Andy Jones too, you know, you know, if those two guys with with the that with Dak having good chemistry with both of them, then you know, then that's the thing that's that's what's gonna make Dak even better, you know, because year one to year two, now he's not gonna go, okay, who's this guy over here, you know, so. Um, so I'll make a I'll make a video who I feel that we should take you know you know my opinion that who I like us to take not who we should take but who I feel that I would love us to take and all that um, you know so that that'll be my that that's gonna be my next video all right mahalo for watching Paniola boys and go Cowboys.